Retina acts like a screen over here. Retina has got many light sensitive cells. As light falls on the retina, light sensitive cells gets activated and generate electrical signals. These signals, electrical signals are carried by optic nerves to the brain. Then as the signal reaches the brain, so we interpret our brain interprets the erect image of the object. Actually images formed real and inverted here, but finally we see erect image. This is the actually interpretation of the brain. So now ciliary muscles, I will come to the ciliary muscles. Main function of ciliary muscles are here used to change the curvature of the lens. With the help of ciliary muscles, lens can adjust its focal length. Suppose you are looking at the infinite object or the object which is very far. Ciliary muscles are relaxed, lens becomes thin and its focal length increases and image is formed on the retina. When you are seeing very nearby object or the closed object, ciliary muscles helps to change the curvature of the lens lens becomes thick and focal length decreases and image is finally formed on the retina. So, whether we see nearby object or far off object, the image can be formed on the retina with the help of the ciliary muscles and lens that means by adjusting the focal length of the lens. So, this ability of the eye to see nearby of a uh, nearby object as well as far off object is known as accommodation. So, you know it far point of the eye that means the maximum distance up to which you can see clearly. So, that is called far point that is far point for the normal eye is infinite, but the near point it means the minimum distance up to which you can see clearly that is 25 centimeter that is called near point of the human eye. So, this is the working of the human eye and each and every parts we have discussed here how does work each and every part plays important roles. Now, I will come back to again the retina, retina as I told you retina has got light sensitive cells there are basically two types of light sensitive cells one are rod shaped cells and another are cone shaped cells. So, rod shaped cells are responsible for the intensity or the brightness of the images whereas, cone shaped cells are responsible for the color of the object or they are actually considered as color cells. So, with the help of the light sensitive cells on the retina we can see all colorful objects right and we can see also the brighter image and all these parts plays an important role in the formation of image. So, now you have to do this working of the human eye with the diagram you try to make yourself diagram and do practice of this. This is very important question right because each and every and that is very important optical instrument you can see. So, this human eye working is very important for you people.